How's it going guys? Dan here from Who Figure Adventures and it is Friday night which means it's Doctor Who night. I miss saying it's Saturday night which means it's Doctor Who night but unfortunately it's Friday night which means it's Doctor Who night. Uh, quite literally f night. Uh, it is 5 to 11 at night. Um, so anyway, uh, Doctor Who tonight. Stephen Moffat's triumphant return to Doctor Who with Boom. Uh, quite an exciting episode. This is definitely one I've sp spoken about. This being one of my most an most anticipated episodes, and it is um, so much to like be excited for. I'm excited quite a bit to see how this episode looks. Like it's the first Doctor Who episode to be filmed on a volume. Um, I don't know if it's a full volume like they do with Mandalorian. Um, but still to start to utilise that kind of technology is quite exciting and uh, I'm very excited to see what that looks like because um, we've not really seen much from the promotional material it's mainly been the same kind of stuff so uh, I do wonder how it's going to look actually in the full episode which will be exciting um, we've got some quite emotional scenes I think in this episode from a true whaler um, especially for Shooter's Doctor so yeah it's gonna be quite exciting to see how all that develops all written by Stephen Moffat first time Moffat has written an episode under RTD since Forest of the Dead so <laughs> 2008 Jesus but uh, yeah, it's going to be quite exciting to see how his writing differs in this day and age, and especially under a different show runner. So yeah, it's going to be quite exciting. So without any further ado, well, the titles. Oh, little liar. Teeth now. See, I wonder what the deal is with the blindfold. <laughs> Dad skills, that's how. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, he just wants to see the tattoo. Oi. Stay where you are. I'll just. Gonna, you. Yeah. Knew it. Cut. Oh, that's what happens. It's like a teleport thing. Detected. Susan Twist. It's a very Moffat thing, this, isn't Shots it? Scratch. Which is what's exciting. Here we are. Did you hear that? Oh, it's theme tune. Oh no. This is a good step on in my star of the episode. Oh, I love his theme tune. Oh, he looks so good. I love that outfit. And there we go. What an opening! <laughs> Oh, this episode's gonna be so good. I can't wait. Moffat back in his prime. Why does a landmine have lights on it? <sighs> Capitalism. Excuse me? Flashy lights play well in a showroom. This is Moffat. <laughs> wow. Look at this. Ruby, have you seen something? It flips his stomach, doesn't it? Look at that. What is it? Okay, that isn't an urn. Mm -hmm. There isn't a body inside of that. That is the body. a body. Oh. That is a dead body. Best not to worry then. Oh, these two are so good to go. So how are we gonna do this? Count to three? Please to me. No arguing, Doctor. Pressure. His outfit is so good this episode. I love his boots. You are brave. Well, you're standing on a landmine. <laughs> <laughs> the emotion. The, it's so good. Okay, oh, okay. Jesus. That's okay. That's right. That's right. It's the after effect. It's my adrenaline. I just need to focus. The directing and cinematography on this is okay. just amazing. Okay. All the close-ups of the Doctor's face. 
They're just amazing. Just use your eyes. He stood on a landmine. Oh! What's happening? It's taking him. Signal your understanding. Signal your My God! Please, I understand. He's on a landmine. He's standing right on one. I saw him. He was a hologram. Where is he? Oh, stupid kids, use your noggin. <laughs> We've never seen them. Excuse me? They're in the mud. That's what we think. Hey, you don't even Some know where it is. Where they are, even. All the fog. What? Sentient mud. Sir, I Seriously. do not have time. I'm a time lord. Not a human, I'm a time lord. Doctor! Oh. I am a higher dimension life form. I am a complex space time event. I'm a Anglican. Daddy! Hello, Daughter Spice. Can I assist you with any persistent regression? Daddy! But this kid, I am going. Uh, uh, it's driving me insane. Who cares? Go on, Ruby. Oh, no. Oh my god! Who is the next of kids? Next of kids, next of kids. Well, work it out, Ruby. You don't have any kids. Oh, here we go. So, no. That's not possible. That's another companion down. Big dancers. Big dancers. What is it? What is happening? <coughs> I'm too. Talk to me. Are you alright? I'm fine. How are you? Where are you? I can't. Are you injured? I'm fine. How are you? I'm okay. Just. Some, something's wrong. What? Is he dead on, on a landmine? Oh, he's dead. Oh, that's not good. Oh, damn! Come down. Oh, that and Come he's down. dead. You are a John, tell your daughter to run now, dad to dad. I'm safe with daddy. It's a hologram. Thoughts and prayers. It's nice that Susan to wish as this bigger role this episode. Because <clears throat> this is in a cameo. Oh my god, shut up. <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. Mic drop. Brilliant. Oh, look at that. There's that shot. I will be popping in. Every now and then, fish fingers and custard is my favourite. <laughs> okay, come on, Ruby. Yes, yes, sorry. I'll rush off like this one. Fish fingers and custard. Bye. Oh. We are in Wales! Spectacular! Is she? Doctor? Where's the doctor? Where is he? There's this woman. Who is she? I don't know. That Jack is unbound. What the hell have you done? Okay. Doctor Light, episode coming. Okay, guys, that was Boom, uh, episode three of Doctor Who, and pretty good. Wow. Um, uh, quite a, quite a big 
deep episode. It's it's definitely going to need a rewatch for it all to sink in, but it was so good. Uh, Moffat back in full force. Um, I was really excited to see how his writing differs uh, now that he's writing under RTD and not for his own show. Um, and it, it's it's nice. It's different. It's weird. It's definitely a mix of the two. You can definitely see certain certain things that um, that he's definitely worked with RTD on, and certain things that he'd have done if he if he was the one that's in charge. If that makes sense at all. But no, it's it's it was pretty good. Um, Shooter Gatwa, start of the week. <laughs> I mean, what a performance. That was just phenomenal. He just gets better and better each week. Um, but yeah, that performance. I mean, wow. We've definitely got our doctor right here. Um, in terms of production, this episode just looked amazing. I mean, it was essentially a pretty, pretty much a two hander for. That's gone off to bed. <laughs> um, pretty much a two-hander through the whole story. So the performances between Shooty and Millie were just amazing. Uh, especially just from the opening scenes, you know, where we got out the TARDIS and just heading straight into the danger with full theme tune on as as well. It's just Oh, just amazing. Um, we've got a little bit, bit more development with Susan Twist. Um, definitely not a cameo this episode. Definitely not a cameo. Definitely a main character kind of role. Um, but, um, yeah, it's nice to see where this is going. I mean, I've, I've no idea at all. No clue whatsoever. But she is going to be the Susan Triad um, in the final uh, final couple of episodes, I think. Which uh, I think Triad got mentioned in the giggle, didn't it? Um, so be interesting to see how that develops and if the Doctor remembers her face and stuff like that. Um, what else? What else? What else? The snow. No idea what's going on there, but. I like that we get something each episode. We're literally getting some different type of um, development for it. The Doctor didn't really seem that shocked by it this time, to be honest. He's like, oh, that's Ruby. That's Ruby. Um, but, uh, yeah. Next week, we've got 73 yards. Uh, Doctor Light story, um, I think. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, Doctor Light story, which um, is going to be exciting. Um, I've no idea. I'm, I'm, is it too early for a Doctor Light story? I mean, I know that they kind of did it because Shooter was busy filming Sex Education or Barbie. So I, I get why they've done it. It's busy filming something, so I get why. But. I don't know if it's too early for a Doctor Light story, um, but we'll have to see how it goes. I mean, I'm excited for it. Um, I think Sean Phillips is in next week's, and um, Welsh folk horror story, isn't it? So, yeah, to be exciting, exciting to see cats back, exciting to see um, what happens. So yeah. Stephen Moffat back with a bang and a boom. Um, yeah, so that is all for this time. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please leave a like, a comment. Tell me what you thought of the episode and your theories on Susan Twist and um, all the snow and everything like that. Um, and I'll see you next week for 73 yards. Goodbye.